Open Max Calibration. Before calibrating your scale, we'll need to seat your deflection sensors. To seat your deflection sensors, you'll need a heavy bin. Take your heavy bin and raise it above the windshield, then drop it back down below the windshield. Repeat this step 10 to 20 times in order to complete the sensor seating process. The single can method uses one can, weighs an empty can, then fills it with the heavy material to get the heavy weight. Whereas the two can method uses two identical twin cans, one for the empty weight, one for the heavy weight. You may use either the single can or the two can calibration methods. In order to calibrate, we'll need access to an accurate in-ground scale and two refuse bins of similar sizes and weights. One of these bins will be used as our empty calibration bin and another one will be used for our heavy calibration. For our heavy calibration, we'll need to acquire some material to fill our heavy bin with. In order to calculate the amount of material that we'll need to fill our heavy bin with, take an empty six-yard container or containers to a ground scale and weigh them. Record these bin weights for later use. Take your empty can weight and subtract 100. That's how much weight you will add to your can to get your heavy weight. So your total heavy weight is equal to your empty can minus 100 plus the weight of your empty can. Before we start calibrating, we'll need to take our empty bin weight and our heavy bin weight and enter them into the scale. From the weight screen, hit the escape button. Press the down arrow so setup is flashing. Press OK. Press the down arrow six times until Cal weight setup is flashing. Press OK. Press down. Empty weight should now be flashing. Press OK. Using the up and down arrows, enter the weight of your empty bin. When the weight is correct, press OK. The screen will briefly flash accepted. After the screen is flashed accepted, hit the escape button one time. Hit the down arrow so heavy weight is flashing and press OK. Use the up and down arrows to enter your heavy bin weight. Press OK and the screen will briefly flash accepted. If you've never calibrated your scale before, we'll have to start with your heavy weights. Place the heavy bin filled with the calibration material onto the vehicle forks. Follow the on-screen instructions to navigate to the heavy calibration process. From the weight menu, press the escape button. Press the down arrow until setup is flashing. And press OK. Calibration should be flashing. Press OK. Press the down arrow so the heavy weight is flashing and press OK. Follow the on-screen instructions. When prompted, begin your first lift and continue to slowly but steadily raise the bin until the display flashes. Keep the container at that position until the screen stops flashing. After flashing stops, make sure to immediately lift or lower in the opposite direction. Otherwise, the calibration process will time out and you will need to start over. Lower the bin until the display flashes. The can cannot touch the ground. You will repeat this process for a total of five times. When you have successfully completed your calibration runs, the scale will tell you that your heavy calibration is complete. To calibrate our empty weights, we'll take our empty bin and place them on the vehicle forks. Follow the on-screen instructions to navigate to the empty calibration process via the scale display. To calibrate your empty weight, hit the escape button from the weight screen. Press the down arrow until setup is flashing. Then press OK. Calibration should be flashing. Press OK. Press down. Empty weight should now be flashing. Press OK. When prompted, slowly but smoothly lift your empty cal can. Keep the container at that position until the screen stops flashing. After flashing stops, make sure to immediately lift or lower in the opposite direction. 
Otherwise, the calibration process will time out and you will need to start over. Lower the bin until the display flashes. The can cannot touch the ground. Just like with our heavy calibration, we'll follow our on-screen prompts here, lifting and lowering the can for a total of five times. When our empty calibration is completed, the screen will notify us. Your bin max scale should now be fully calibrated and ready for use. Please complete your diagnostic worksheet. Keep a copy of it in your files and send it to your airway representative.